My name is Dan. And I'm Marlene. We're the Molly Mish family. We've been traveling for 14 years. We've been to 49 U.S. states, 41 countries on four continents, and a bit over a quarter million miles in three different vehicles. And we travel with three kids and currently with two cats. We started traveling over land or living on the road as we call it um, when our oldest was just one. And we did it because we wanted to show her the world, show her um, outside of the city she was born in. As we gained more children and started traveling more and more together, uh, we noticed that being together was the most important thing. And uh, I think we realized that quite early on and we latched onto it and we kept running with it. You know, it's been 14 years. Before this, we were happily living in a house. It felt like every day was the same, or every week was the same, like Monday you go do, do this, Tuesday you go do that, Wednesday you go do that, and then like months would go by and then you wonder like where has the time gone? Time may go quickly while you're having fun, but you also get to remember almost everything because there are these milestones in your days and in your trips that are kind of seared in your mind. So our first official camper that we sort of like lived in was in, it was an air, 25 foot Airstream trailer. We were in the Airstream for eight years. So on our way back from Alaska to the lower 48, we started thinking about downsizing. We chose to go down to a F-250 crew cab long bed 4x4 with a four wheel camper Granby in the back. And we were in that for two years. And then in 2018, we decided we're gonna ship it across to Europe. And then the more we thought about it, the more we, more we realized that we needed to have a vehicle that was more appropriate for the place that we're going. Turns out we were right. We didn't see a single F-250 over there. <laughs> we switched to the van in 2018. We got it ready to live in in 30 days. None of these builds were very extensive. They were all built just to the point of necessity. And then we kind of added onto it over time as we needed. So each year we sort of reevaluate and see what we want to do. And as our kids have gotten older, so our oldest is now 15. In three years, she'll be 18. She can move out if she wants. Or get her own van and follow us. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we told the kids when they turn 16, um, no sweet 16 party, but you can all get your own van. And Luca, he's become a go-kart daredevil for his birthday. <laughs> Just cause I crashed twice. Just, just... Maybe, maybe three times? One of the things that we get asked a lot is about having kids when we travel. And, and how do they make friends? And how do they make good friends? You know, because you don't have like a next door neighbor. Imagine having a friend and going on a trip with that friend for months at a time. It's basically having a never ending sleepover. So rather than just having a best friend that I see at school, you're seeing somebody 24 hours a day. So every day is like, weeks of friendship in a normal time scale. So you can get build really strong and really fast bonds with people when you meet them. You have to attack yourself with a stick while you're talking. <laughs> Itchy. Okay. The impact I hope that we leave, leave on the community is that this is possible. Like you don't have to be um, just like a couple traveling. You don't have to have the perfect rig picked out immediately. I just want to show people that it's possible and uh, we can thrive in this lifestyle and we can learn about different cultures and people and lands and environment. You gotta make sure your footing is good. I think most people, if they have interest, they should try it. But when we say that this lifestyle is not for everybody, is that there's no shame in saying, I'm done. Like, you know, I, I tried it, I had fun, now I'm all gonna go on and do something else. There is no like, who can do this the longest, right? Like, don't put yourself through so torture in something that you don't enjoy doing. Outside pitch. How do you guys take care of the land? Stay on the trail. Okay, we stay on trails. And leave it better how you found it. Like, pick up the trash if you see any. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and, and don't d dump your, your entire poo tank and light on a fire. What else do you guys got from your junior ranger times? Um, Stay away from wildlife. Yeah. Yeah, let them stay wild. Let animals, wild animals mm -hmm. stay wild. 
it's actually really easy to just keep going back to all your favorite places that you've been to before. And it's actually really the hardest part is to say that I will not go back to my favorite place. I will go to a place that I might not like. We try to push ourselves and cross more international borders to show the kids that people are different than us. Every time we cross a border, it's different culture, different people, different languages. It's not anything to be scared of. The only vehicle that we felt like that defined us, that we let it define us, was our the airstream that we lived in because if that felt like we were we were in it for the longest. But once we decided that we can leave that, we felt much freer. Like we no longer let the vehicle define who we are. We let what we do and where we go define who we are. For this community too, I think it really becomes important because there's a lot of, oh I'm a Toyota guy or I'm a Ford guy or I'm a Sprinter guy or whatever. You know, but I think when you meet people when you're traveling out there, it doesn't matter where you're in. You know, it's it's what you do and where you go.